Tracy and Tina from Let's Cook Y'all. This is Sunday. We have stopped at a local German fest, picked up some t-shirts, picked up some shish kebabs, bratwurst, sauerkraut, and I went over to the dessert tent and got two strudels for dessert. So bratwurst, shish kebabs is what we're having for dinner. Onions with and onions. spicy mustard. Tim, needless to say, is beyond himself giddy with excitement for our brats and shish kebabs, German food. That is what's for dinner Sunday. It's September the 30th, and Stacy, guess what happened today? I don't know. What happened today? Saints won. <laughs> they did. We wore our lucky shirts. So guess what tomorrow is? September 30 days. Tomorrow's October 1st. October 1st. Guess what tomorrow is? I heard it was somebody's birthday. He's going to be eight years old. Eight? Who is it? It's Aaron. Aaron! Happy birthday, Aaron! Happy birthday! Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Eat a lot of cake. It's Monday night. I have made a French Canadian dish called a tortillere, which if you which if you've been watching our channel, you'll know that that's what I chose for our Cooking Around the World 2018 collab with Kelly. This is from Quebec. It's a savory meat pie. We're having green beans and a harvest salad with cheddar, walnuts, honey crisp apples, and craisins. And Tim can eat in that all he wants because all that is healthy. So you'll have to check back on Tuesday, October 16th at eight o'clock. We will be posting that video with our review of the tortillere. That's what's for dinner Monday. Tortillere. It's Tuesday night. I was going to skip making the lentil tacos and taco meat for Tim because we have a lot of the tortillere left and I don't know if it freezes, I'll have to check with Kelly, but I did have several people ask me how to make lentil tacos. So I will leave a link below to my full recipe. Normally I cut it in half. I guess it's originally written for four people. Normally I cut it in half for the two of us. I'm gonna cut it by a quarter tonight and just quickly show you how to make it. You'll need obviously lentils. I usually use red, but I don't have them today. I'm just gonna use the brown I had in my pantry. We're going to take some oil and saute some garlic and onion, and then we will add spices and toast them a minute or two. Chili powder, cumin, and oregano. Then we'll add the lentils and some chicken broth. And these take a while to cook. The, the thing about healthier cooking, brown rice takes longer than white and lentils take longer. They don't take as long as regular beans, but they do take a while to cook. And then at the end, after I've simmered them about 30 or 40 minutes and gotten them most of the liquid absorbed, I'm gonna add some salsa and I will have these over a taco salad. And the result Tuesday night, I've got the lentil tacos with pinto beans, guacamole, red onion, and a bunch of other toppings. And Tim's got ground beef tacos. Ooh, ooh. He really wanted the lentils. <laughs> He really wanted the lentil tacos, but I had, I took some, a little, I took a little bit of organic grass fed ground beef out and made him those so he would not stage a revolt and it would not be pretty. Just say no to lentils. Well, I'm gonna say yes to lentils and that is what's for dinner Tuesday. Wednesday night, I've tried a new recipe idea that I got from one of my sisters for a barbecue, <laughs> a barbecue chicken rice bowl. I did some barbecue chicken, <laughs> that's my bowl. Don't eat my avocado. That's my, that's, okay. I did some barbecue chicken in the crock pot. It was really easy. I actually have a recipe that's sort of similar to this that I will link above called crock pot teriyaki chicken grain bowl. It's the same concept. You take boneless chicken, season it up. This time I cooked it in a soda. I just used Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola or Dr. Pepper or root beer instead of making a homemade teriyaki sauce, and then you toss it, you shred it and toss it with the barbecue sauce. And we're gonna do a rice or a grain on the side and corn. The teriyaki one has steamed edamame and broccoli on the side, but this is barbecued chicken, a rice mix, corn topped with avocado and green onions, and that is what's for- What are we gonna call this? This is barbecued chicken rice balls. That's barbecue what's for- Barbecued chicken, corn, avocado rice balls? Okay. Sorry. Somebody's that's mess. What was that? What Somebody, was somebody's messing with me, and he wants to say. And that's what's for dinner. That's what's for dinner Wednesday. Hi.
It's Friday night. I had food out. I was just about ready to cook. And I got a better offer. I had some guy Sweet say, dear. I had some guy say, I'm going to Lowe's and Home Depot. You want to go? We can get a bite to eat while we're out, so. Friday night at Lowe's and Home Depot. Friday night at Lowe's with the best looking guy and the love of my life. <laughs> but I ain't. No food yet. It's Friday night. Tim's got a Reuben and potato salad. I've got a, is it turkey cranberry club? Turkey cranberry club and autumn squash soup. Pretty exciting. And he doesn't know it yet, but I'm getting a bite of that puppy over there. Huh. That is what's for dinner Friday. Is that my bite? That's, That's what's mind. for dinner Friday. It is Saturday lunch. Tim got in from playing golf and offered me and offered me my heart's desire, which is to take me to eat Chinese. Duh, I got you on camera eating my food. Tim got bourbon chicken, we both got egg drop soup, and I got shrimp with lobster sauce. And that is a bonus lunch for Saturday, and he's still trying to eat my food. Aaron, don't eat off other people's plates. <laughs> Saturday night, we were supposed to be gone today, but as you saw, we went out and ate lunch, and I went ahead and did the chicken strips that I've been wanting to try in the air fryer. I hope to have a video on that coming soon. Tim will test them for me right now. He's gonna do them right now. I made some salsa up. This recipe is on our blog. Made some mac and cheese. Was gonna do green beans. <laughs> Was gonna do green beans, but just sliced an apple and got some Hawaiian rolls. Are they crispy? Oh yeah, they're good. They're good. Okay, so that wraps up another week of what's for dinner. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel, Let's Cook Y'all. If you hadn't hit that subscribe button, I hope you'll consider it and like and comment. Everyone have a wonderful and blessed day.